Hello, fabulous superstar cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of February, 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is a sky like this with so much promise and potential and sheer excitement that I'm really looking forward to. So let's start with the full moon that's taking place right around the 9th. Now this full moon will be happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with money you earn and money you spend. It has to do with self-esteem and self-worth as well. Now it is going to be this full moon that is speaking in supreme harmony with Mars. And that brings with it an energy that is empowered, that is strong, that is focused. And it does suggest a time when you may be making money moves in some way, whether it is that you're looking to spend, whether it is that you are uh, putting out a little bit more effort in order to earn, it does look like overall a time of prosperity, but some of that prosperity very well may be rooted in your own actions. That's the thing with Mars. Mars likes you to take action. It wants you to feel it and be confident and go out there and do it. And so yes, this may very well be one of those times when you are inspired to take action, to make moves and to make things happen, especially on the financial front in terms of creating more prosperity for yourself. Now, for some Cancerians out there though, this energy is gonna be a lot more personal. It has to do with self-esteem and self-worth and you may very well get a chance or be summoning a spirit of bravery to help you to go out there and actually make some sort of a, a confident play or to take bold action in support of healthy self-esteem and healthy self-love. In fact, something that you do now, very quickly inspired, perhaps very impulsive, may end up being just the thing you need to affirm a healthy sense of self-value. And this affirmation stays with you long after this full moon has come and gone. As we move further into the month, right around the 23rd is when we are going to have this month's new moon. Now this new moon is happening in fellow water sign Pisces. It is speaking in harmony with Mars and with Uranus as well. About a week before the full moon, Mercury will go retrograde in the same part of the sky also. Now for you, this is a part of the sky that speaks to understanding your place in the world. It has to do with long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters, philosophical matters as well. And so with a new moon in this part of the sky, it tends to bring with it new adventures, new avenues, new possibilities, new ways of considering what ultimately is subjective truth. So it's not so much about what's empirically correct, it's about what you believe and how you're perceiving uh, the world in a larger sense around you. With this beautiful connection with Uranus especially, I feel like there's a lot of uh, lucky energy around this time, but it does rely on effort and your own work. So if it is that in some way you're looking to step out in front of more of the world, whether it is you're hoping for an opportunity to actually travel or relocate somewhere, it is gonna be this new moon that helps you to do just that. If it is that you're hoping for a publishing deal or in some way share what you do on a bigger stage or in a bigger way, well, this new moon can help you in that regard. If it is that you're hoping for a fresh start or fresh perspective on a legal matter or within an institute of higher learning, well, this new moon can help you as well. Now, the fact that Mercury is going retrograde under the same sky, it can also speak to an opportunity that you felt was lost coming back around. It can also speak to a sense of getting another perspective on a long-standing matter that actually can end up being really useful and sends you in new directions. Now, the key here is though, you do wanna be a little bit mindful if something really is brand new, has no connection to what's been before or come before, that's where you do want to be careful because Mercury retrogrades are a time to go back over old ground. As they say with retrogrades, re-anything, wherever it is that you gotta go back, redo, recycle, right? Recycle ideas for that uh, matter, re-edit. These are the types of activities that actually work really well with a Mercury retrograde. And especially for you with a Mercury retrograde in this part of the sky, if it is that you're looking to return to a place that you've been before in the world, uh, you're looking to reapply uh, for something and submit legal documents for another time, uh, or you're looking to reapply to an institute of higher learning, these are the types of things that can be especially blessed 
at this new moon. But overall though, I do think new moons in this part of the sky can be especially fun. And where it is that you're looking to expand your horizons, well, that spirit will be with you at this time. Now, where it comes to matters of love, it is going to be about a week into the month that Venus will move into the very top of your sky. And as Venus moves into the very top of your sky, love tends to get very big picture. It tends to be focused more on where it's going and the goals that you have and the goals that you share together. So if you're open to meeting someone new, this energy can sometimes bring with it someone uh, that you either have as a person of authority to you or someone who has achieved something that you admire, that you desire to emulate. Well, these are the types of people that can come into your life at this time. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, it is going to be now that you start to get some insight into where this person is going and whether or not they fit that larger picture. Is it that they actually are uh, open to or enthusiastic about where they're headed? Does it fit in with the goals that you might have for your life and where it is that you believe you're going? Well, where it is that it's coming together, well, those uh, types of new connections can feel that much more fortified. But where there is any kind of disconnect that really is going to start to show itself with a month like this, not only because of Venus in and of herself, but also because of the way that she's going to be connecting to other power players as we move further into the month. This month in particular, Jupiter and towards the end of the month, Pluto. Well, those are going to be real moment of truths for you to decide whether or not this is something that you want to move forward with. And for those of you who are in an established bond, well, this energy can work out a couple different ways. One is it could just be that you are very focused on a goal. There's a lot of work that you need to do, a career focus that you may have at this time. And it is going to be your partner who in some way can be a cheerleader for you, especially in the middle weeks of the month. At the same time, though, this can be some sense of disconnect that does show up, especially in the last part of the month and especially at the very end of the month. You are going to have to watch that. But for all that, this might also be a time when you are feeling a sense of shared vision or shared direction together. Remember, Venus is a blessing. She's reminding you to remember the love. And the more you remember the love, the more love there is to celebrate between the two of you. If both of you have a goal that you're working towards or even just a point of focus together, it's going to strengthen the bond that much more. What I love about this month for you, well, there's a lot going on here, uh, but I'm going to say the new moon. That is a truly beautiful energy. Thanks to Uranus. Thanks to Mars. I absolutely love it. And I feel like because it is happening in fellow water sign, it tends to represent uh, an energy that you can tap into for your advantage that much more. There's a real sense of new horizons showing up for you. Now, if they're really brand new, that's where you want to be careful with the Mercury retrograde. But where it is that you thought some possibility, some horizon, some new adventure was lost, well, this may very well be where it comes back around by surprise only to be better than it could have ever been before. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.